At the end of my eighth grade year, I realized how fast life was moving, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, I wasn't exactly clear about the future, you know, but I wasn't slacking, you know? I had good grades, I was a 4 pro student, I had um, scholarship money, $5,000, I was ASP rep, and general value turned, but I just did not know where I was gonna go. I, all I knew was I was gonna become a doctor, and that was pretty much it. And, um, and then I saw a kid in my class get accepted to Lakeside, a prestigious private school, and that's when I asked myself, like, hold up, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? And that's when I, realized, I figured that since society is evolving to the point where technology is how we breathe, I might as well start there. So that's when I agreed to take Mr. Barnes' um, computer science class at Rainy Beach High School. And um, I'm gonna be honest, I did not really love computer science <laughs> until about the second month of the class. We were uh, tasked with making our own choice game and I chose to make a geometry game. I don't know why, but, and um, at first the game was horrible, nothing worked, everything was just crashing, and that didn't help me at all. So, and then, but uh, my computer science teacher, Mr. Pelly, sat down with me and he helped me, and then, and then my game started slowly working, pieces started working together, and then my app got published to the Windows Store. And then that's, that was when, it was like a sign from somebody that I need to continue. And then that's when I became addicted. <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, and then, like, for me, it was like, I could say that it was literally like my drug, you know, I would stay up until, like, 12 o'clock just coding and coding and coding and coding, and then my mom had to take away my phone after a while, and then, yeah, and then, you know, and I know today Microsoft is generously sponsoring the STEM Summit, and I also know they have uh, a TILS program, TILS means technology education and literacy in schools. And through that program, my love for computer science blossomed. You know? It got to a point where it felt like I was in an honest, like, committed relationship with computer science <laughs> and my phone. Yeah. And, um, you know, when I realized my love for computer science, I realized my future career choice. It hit me. I want to be the doctor that uses computer science to fill in the void between technology and medicine. I want to be the doctor that creates a script that plugs in the person's medical history for you or that can find a person's tumors if they have them. I want to be the doctor that can look a little kid in the eye and tell them that that's all right. Medicine may have been lacking, but hopefully with medicine and technology, I can help you. And, and then I can also tell them that through technology, I can make the hurt and the pain go away. You just have to trust me. And hopefully they will also develop a love for computer science and technology and pass it on. You know, after all, technology is a, a field that will open any door and every door, door for those who understand it. Yeah, after all, tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Thank you.